the truth. What is going on, Camp Fam? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button right now to join the Camp Fam. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, and I would love for you guys to come on the ride with me. If you guys enjoy the content, please hit that thumbs up. That helps the channel a ton, lets me know what videos to put out in the future, because I do plan on pumping out a lot of random content. When I get a lot of feedback from you guys on what videos you guys do and do not like, it's just gonna help me and the channel grow a ton. So if you guys could do that for me, that would be awesome, and I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. So thank you for that. As well as hit that notification button. I forgot to mention that. There's a lot of things to mention, but hit that one too. Now going into today's video, guys, we are talking about my first experience with a company, I guess, reaching out to them and being kind of an influencer for our company. And that company's name is Lit Mobile. And I did a video for them and unboxing for them not too long ago on one of their cases that they sent me. And not gonna lie, it's not a bad case. Like it's not a bad case whatsoever. So I'm not bashing on the product itself. Um, Lit has made a, a good quality product. However, looking back on the comment section in that video, and, and they were all negative about Lit, and they were about either the customer service, that they're not responsive, that people have not gotten their, or received their case in like a couple weeks, people have gotten the wrong cases. I'm gonna throw a couple comments up here for you guys to look at and see you know, what uh, people are saying about Lit. And it's kind of sad for me to see this because I don't want to misguide you guys and, and mislead you guys to a, a bad company or a company that's not going to treat you right. Lit was cool, you know, getting back to me in a timely manner and sending me, a, you know, a cool case and, and all that good stuff. However, you know, even when I posted it on my Instagram or posted it on YouTube, they didn't, you know, like it, they didn't comment it or anything like that, share it. And, you know, that's cool. You know, I wasn't doing it for the clout. For some odd reason, my camera just died on me. So that was awkward. However, going back into it, um, yeah, they were pretty, you know, it's pretty sad to see these comments because I don't want you to mislead you guys to a bad company. And, you know, Lit's not a bad company in terms of the quality of products, in my opinion. Now, I know one of the comments were actually that the, the paint started chipping off after a couple days. And, you know, that's kind of sucky. And I'd be pissed if I was that person. <laughs> but every product's not going to be perfect. And, you know, I, feel, I just feel bad for that guy that his wasn't perfect. I just felt bad I couldn't do anything for you guys. Like, I just felt so bad that my viewers and subscribers were getting treated poorly by a company that I told them to go to. Now, I don't know if they actually bought it with my code or actually even heard of Lit before me. And, you know, they just visited the video just to comment, hey, Lit sucks. And I appreciate that. I appreciate the feedback, regardless if you're a subscriber of mine or just came to comment that it is what it is. Uh, I appreciate the activity on, on my channel. But you know, it, it's just sad to see that Lit's not treating everyone equally as, you know, me as an influencer, I guess, because they haven't even reached out to me since I posted the video. They didn't like it, share it, or anything. Like, that's totally cool to me. That just shows me that I need to do better my quality of videos. But when you cross a line in mistreating my my viewers, my subscribers, like, that's super bogus. And what I did was actually reached out to Lit, and I sent them a pretty long message, basically what this video was talking about. It's just unfair that they treated their customers like shit and that they should treat you guys better. I don't expect a response from Lit. They blocked one of you guys, and I'm sure they're going to block me too. So uh, it is what it is. The products are cool, but the customer service is what you really need to focus on if you want to keep customers happy, right? You guys would agree. I'd be pissed if I was in your guys' shoes. Uh, you know, I, I buy a lot of stuff and I rely heavily on customer service, and that's one thing I want to base Cam on as well as customer service um, when we grow and when we get a little bit bigger. It's kind of shitty because Lit is actually based out of Chicago, and if you guys couldn't tell, I kind of like Chicago. You know, it, it, it hurt because it was close to home and I get had a lot of trust in Lit and for you guys to go to Lit and be mistreated, it, it just hurts me a lot as well. So Lit, step your game up. If you guys enjoy the content, hit the thumbs up button. Um, if you guys haven't checked out that video, go check out that video right here if you guys want to see what the unboxing is like um, and how my video was. Go check it out. That'd be cool. It would help me out a ton. I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.